This week I've been hunting with African hunt safaris and it's near Waterberg in Africa in the Limpopo Valley. It has been an amazing week. The place here is about 3,000 hectares, which is 6,000 acres approximately. There are every kind of species of animal. You can look everywhere and see another animal. I just can't get over this place. This week has been amazing. I cannot get over how beautiful this property is and how large it is. We have not even seen everything. So what's different about hunting here is that instead of stalking everything, we actually have to drive around until we are lucky enough to spot what we want. And then we get out and we do a nice little hike stalk until we get close enough to the animal to take a shot. We like to cater for, for families. Our place is not over hunted. We don't uh, take so many groups in, um, so that we don't have to put so much pressure on our animals. So we believe to take the smaller groups and hunt with the family, younger children, not so much just men. This week my outfitter was Dirk Stratum. We had an amazing week. He was an awesome outfitter, great pH. Um, we got plenty of animals and he gave me lots of opportunities to hunt. Beverly, his wife, was our chef this week and she was amazing. The food was amazing, um, the drinks were plentiful. We did not go without a great meal this entire week. Because the property is so large here and the numbers are so high, they're able to be self-sustainable by providing more animals for future hunters. This property has not been overhunted. The animals are not too tame, but they're not too wild, so it's really nice to be able to come here and hunt. After rain, it's not the easiest. It's safe. Uh, some places could be very tough. We have, we have hills, we have little valleys, we have a lot of water. So the animals can travel from open areas to see looks like the plains. And then we have areas like tough as well, bush park hunt. It will be excellent for buffalo hunting. It will be exciting to get up the hills and just explore the valleys. It's, it's really a little bit of eerie. We just hiked straight up a mountain, up rocks and through bushes, but it's, you know, it's worth it. I think that's the best part of a hunt. It's not necessarily what you have at the end, but what it took to get to that point. So it's definitely worth this gorgeous view to go through all of that hard work. They have an abundance of animals. They have lots of wildebeest, they have inyala, they have kudu. There's also lots of bush pigs. We've seen a really nice buffalo here. We've seen lots and lots of sable, and what's nice about the animals here is that, you know, they're not too tame, but they're also not too wild, so it's a, it, it's a very nice hunt. I think that the sables are one of our animals that we are really put high up. I think the quality of animals that we have, we've got anything from 38, 40, 40 up inch bulls in abundance. And I think the place itself, where they are, just make them more beautiful. I mean, it's one of the areas that I feel We've got a little bit more sables than most of the people that I know around here. One of the best things about this week has by far been the accommodations. Each person here gets their own bungalow, which is beautiful. They have two bedroom bungalows, they have one bedroom bungalows, but each one is amazing and has windows all around the sides. Um, everything is nice and clean and beautiful. The views are breathtaking. Every morning I am lucky enough to wake up to lots of giraffe right out, literally right outside. I could walk over to them. There's Anyala's running around, there's some wildebeest. It's, it's a really cool experience. Every night we get to sit around the fireplace and a lot of times it's actually where we cook our food, but we get to sit out and have a nice drink, sit with friends and talk and stare at the stars and you can see every star in the African sky here. It has been one of the best weeks I've ever had in my hunting life.